is Dekha Alpna here. In this video, we are going to see a problem from solvable copy method. So let's get started. Problem: Solve 4x p square equals to 3x minus a whole square. Solution: Given differential equation. Four x p square equals to three x minus a whole square. Okay, you can write it as p square equals to three x minus a whole square by four x. Then p equals to square root of three x minus a whole square by four x. Again, you can write this as p equals to square root of 3x minus a whole square by square root of 4x. Okay. So this equals to you having square root of 3x minus a whole square in the numerator, right? You know that square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2. Then you can write this as a power 1 by 2. And also we know that a power n whole power n equals to a power n into n. For n equals to 2 and n equals to 1 by 2. And for a equals to 3x minus a. You can write this as 3x minus a power 2 into 1 by 2 which is equals to 3x minus a whole power 1 which is equals to 3x minus a okay so this equals to 3x minus a but square root of 4x square root of 4x can be written as square root of 4 into square root of x we know that square root of 4 is 2 and since we know that square root of a equals to a power 1 by 2 so you can write the square root of x as x power 1 by 2 so we are going to replace the square root of 4x by 2 into x power 1 by 2 okay Since we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so we can express this total expression into two fractions. We can split this total expression into two fractions that is 3x by 2 into x power 1 by 2 minus a by 2 into x power 1 by 2. Again, you can write this as 3 by 2 into x into 1 by x power 1 by 2 minus a by 2 into 1 by x power 1 by 2 since we know that 1 by x power n equals to x power minus n then then p equals to 3 by 2 into x into x power minus 1 by 2 minus a by 2 into x power minus 1 by 2 okay so here we have x power 1 into x power minus 1 by 2. So in the next step we will add the parts. P equals to 3 by 2 into x power 1 minus 1 by 2. Okay since we are having minus here. So we will put minus. Minus O or minus A by 2 into x power minus 1 by 2. This is equals to 3 by 2 into x. 1 minus 1 by 2 is 2 minus 1 by 2 which is equals to 1 by 2 that is 1 minus half is equals to half. Okay. x power 1 by 2 minus a by 2 into x power minus 1 by 2. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then this becomes dy by dx equals to 
3 by 2 into x power 1 by 2 minus a by 2 into x power minus 1 by 2. Right? Now we'll take this dx to RHS. Then dy equals to 3 by 2 into x power 1 by 2 minus a by 2 into x power minus 1 by 2 into dx. Okay. Now we will integrate on both sides. Then integral dy equals to integral of 3 by 2 into x power 1 by 2 minus a by 2 into x power minus 1 by 2 into dx. Then Integral dy is y equals to integral 3 by 2 x power 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 into x power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 by 2 plus 1. Okay, 3 by 2 is constant so we will take outside the integral and we will have 3 by 2 into integral x power 1 by 2 into dx, right? Since we know that integral x power n into dx is equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c for n not equals to minus 1. So we are using this formula since we have n equals to 1 by 2 which is not equals to minus 1. Okay. Likewise here also we will use the same formula since n equals to minus 1 by 2 which is not equals to minus 1. Okay. So we get minus a by 2 is constant so we will write a by 2 as it is. And integral x power minus 1 by 2 into dx will be x power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Okay. So here we need to write integral constant, right? So y plus c equals to then y plus c equals to 3 by 2 into x power 1 by 2 plus 1 equals to 1 plus 2 y 2 equals to 3 by 2. So, we get x power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus a by 2. 1 minus half is half by 1 minus half is that is 1 by 2. So, this is equals to or then y plus c equals to 3 by 2 into you can write this 3 by 2 that is 1 by 3 by 2 as 2 by 3 into x power 3 by 2 minus a by 2 into 2 by 1 into x power 1 by 2. Then y plus c equals to 3 3 gets cancelled, 2 also gets cancelled, x power 3 by 2, here 2 gets cancelled, minus a into x power 1 by 2. Then y plus c equals to you are having x power 3 by 2 which is x power 1 by 2 plus 1 right. So right x power 1 by 2 plus 1 minus a into x power 1 by 2. Then y plus c equals to you can split this x power 1 by 2 plus 1 as x power 1 by 2 into x right. Okay x power 1 by 2 into x minus a into x power 1 by 2. Now we are having x power 1 by 2 in both the terms. So we will take x power 1 by 2 common from these two terms and you will get x power 1 by 2 or x minus a. Then y plus c equals 2. Okay. Now squaring on both sides by squaring on both sides y plus c whole square equals to 
x power 1 by 2 into x minus a whole square. So from this we will get y plus c whole square is equals to x power 1 by 2 whole square okay into x minus a whole square then y plus c whole square equals to x power since x power a whole power b equals to or uh, a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n then you can write x power 1 by 2 whole square as x power 1 by 2 into 2 which is equals to x power 2 by 2 which is equals to x power 1 equals to x right so let's write x power 1 by 2 whole square as x into x minus a whole square. Okay. So this solution for the given differential equation. Therefore, y plus c whole square equals to x into x minus a whole square is the required solution. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from solvable copy in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.